Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Asad Yaqub and I am from Lahore, Pakistan and I teach IELTS here. Well, once again I welcome you guys to the last video of academic reading section 3 and this is the seventh video and uh, I would like to request you to watch all the videos if you want to improve your IELTS uh, reading skills actually. And if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please go on and subscribe my channel because your subscription is an asset for me. Your likes are a great source of motivation for me and your comments are there to encourage me all the time. And then the same things uh, I try to reciprocate to you and this is how the thing is going on. Anyways guys, the type of questions which I'm going to do, this is the first type in section 3 but I'm doing it at last. I'm doing it in the end. First I did uh, sentence completion with one word only. Then I did yes, no, not given and now I'm going to do this one. So again I tell you this is a great tip for all of you in reading section 1, 2 and 3 there are three types of questions and just see where you are comfortable. If you are comfortable with the third type start the test with that then go on with 1 or with 2. Uh, sentence completion is the easiest one. You can always start with that because otherwise it drains your brain and then you are unable to solve the other questions as well. So over here you can see we have uh, five questions questions 27 to 31 and there is a list of researchers and in the list there are six researchers. It means one researcher is extra. It means one researcher can have two statements also. Sometimes researchers are less than the questions. In that case one researcher can be used twice as well. Sometimes questions are more than uh, questions are less than the researchers. That means one statement I mean one researcher does not have any statement. Over here uh, the passage is not in question order but actually the passage is in the list order. We've got this list of researchers in the passage. First they are going to talk about uh, this uh, Pfeffer. Then they are going to talk about Lucas. Then they are going to talk about uh, Marodas et al. Then NG and Sorenzen. So I mean passage is in this list of researchers, list of scientists order. What you guys need to do? First go and find Pfeffer. Where you find Pfeffer, read about him. Come back and go through questions 27 to 31. Now if anything matches just write it there otherwise go on because you know that there are five questions and there are six uh, names of researchers so one name is extra that is why you got to do it and you can use one name twice as well because it is section 3 double confusion. So the question instructions are look at the following statements questions 27 to 31 and the list of researchers below. Match each statement with the correct researcher A to F. Write the correct letter A to F in boxes 27 to 31 on your answer sheet. You may use any letter more than once as well. Double the trouble. Okay. All right. Now, I start scanning. Uh, in the third paragraph, I found this word pfeffer. So, I mean, just please go through this paragraph. You also go through this paragraph as well and we see if there is anything about Pfeffer. Pfeffer 1994 emphasizes that in order to succeed in a global business environment, organization must make investment in human resource management. He's talking about HRM. To allow them to acquire employees who possess better skills and capabilities than their competitors. This investment will be to their competitive advantage. Despite this recognition of the importance of employee development, the hospitality industry has historically been dominated by underdeveloped HR practices. That is said by Lucas. They started with prefer, but the last statement that is, despite this recognition of the importance of employee development, the hospitality industry has historically been dominated by underdeveloped. HR practices said by Lucas. Now let's see out of four 
27 hotel managers need to know what would encourage good staff to remain no now when you read the statements first time underline the important keywords as well 28 the action of managers may make staff feel they shouldn't move to a different employee no 29 little is done in the hospitality industry to help workers improve their skills it rings a bell little is done in the hospitality industry to help workers improve their skills and what is the statement despite this recognition of the importance of employee development the hospitality industry has historically been dominated by underdeveloped HR practices hospitality industry has historically been dominated by underdeveloped HR practices said by Lucas and here little is done in the hospitality industry to help workers improve their skills help workers improve their skills that is HR so the answer to question number nine is B now you can also cross question number 29 because you've already done that is that clear okay so we started with the pfeffer there wasn't any statement of him here actually then we went on with lucas and we found his statement now we are going to look for this word uh, uh, merudas et al let's see where is merudas et al and what do they say about him and then we'll come back so let's go on merudas et al merudas et al lucas yeah i found him okay he's in the next paragraph there they talk about lucas again let's see so lucas again means there can be any other option of lucas as well or not let's see lucas also points out that the substance of hrm practices does not appear to be designed to foster constructive relation with employees or the represent or to represent a managerial approach that uh, enables developing and drawing out full potential of people even though employees may be broadly satisfied with many aspects of the work lucas again in addition or maybe as a result high employee turnover has been a recurring problem throughout the hospitality industry now be careful because at the end in the bracket they have written uh, merudas et al among the many cited reasons are low compensation inadequate benefits poor working conditions we found one answer here already and compromised employee uh, morale and attitude marudas et al let's see okay uh, a is hotel managers need to know what would encourage good staff no 28 is the actions of managers may make feel staff they shouldn't move to a different uh, look a different employee uh, employer no 29 is done 30 staff are less likely to change jobs if cooperation is encouraged no 31 dissatisfaction with pay is not the only reason wow why not because some other reasons are already given dissatisfaction with pay is not the only reason why hospitality workers change job let me explain over here they say in addition or maybe as a result high employee turnover turnover means employees they change the job has been a recurring problem throughout the hospitality industry among the many cited reasons are low compensation now what do they say over here staff uh, they, they say over here uh, dissatisfaction with pay dissatisfaction with pay and over here they're using the word reasons are low compensation is not the only reason yes it is not the only reason because along with that we've got inadequate benefits poor working conditions and compromised employee morale so dissatisfaction with pay is not the only reason why hospitality workers change jobs and hospitality workers as they are talking about this industry hospitality industry it's written already so that's why for question number 31 the answer is c merudas et al so this is already done clear now we are done with uh, a b and c let's go on with n g and surinzen okay or maybe there is another statement let's just go on okay so now i need to look for n g and surinzen fine let's see ng and Sorensen. yes i found him in the next paragraph okay guys please take a look ng and Sorensen 2008 demonstrated that when managers provide recognition to employees 
motivate employees to work together and remove obstacles preventing effective performance employees feel more obliged to stay with the company now this is said by ng and sorensen what does he say demonstrate that when many uh, managers provide recognition one provide recognition second motivate employees third work together and remove obstacles preventing effective performance employees feel more obliged to stay with the company now let's see okay now in questions question number 27 is hotel managers need to know what would encourage good staff to remain what would encourage to go, uh, good staff to remain no 28 the actions of managers may make staff feel they shouldn't move they shouldn't move means they should stay and actions of managers now what are the actions which they have mentioned over there the actions are actually given here ngn surensen 2008 demonstrated that when managers provide now managers provide and the actions of managers what are those actions recognition to employees motivate employees to work together and remove obstacles uh, preventing effective performance employees feel more obliged to stay with the company hence question number 28 the actions of managers may make staff feel they shouldn't move to a different employer Op answer is d that is ng and sorensen is that clear okay well guys if you take a closer look there are two options that match with ng and sorensen in the same line the next option is from the questions please take a look staff are less likely to change job if cooperation is encouraged staff are less likely to change jobs now you can see you can notice one thing uh, in question number 28 and question number 30 they talk about the same thing 28 is the actions of managers may make staff feel they shouldn't move to a different employee shouldn't move to a different employee and in 30 they say staff are less likely to change jobs less likely to change jobs and shouldn't move to a different employee that is the same thing now what do they say after that if cooperation is encouraged now this very thing is mentioned here it is written please follow that ng and sorensen demonstrated that when managers provide recognition to employees motivate employees to work together to work together and over here they are saying cooperation is encouraged work together they say here uh, motivate employees to work together and cooperation is encouraged that is the same thing that is why question number 30 will also have option D now we are left with one option only huh that is 27 hotel managers need to know what would encourage good staff to remain and we are left with two names uh, one is Inns and Sigaw and last is Diri okay let's see first we find Inns and Sigaw Inns and Sigaw then they talk about this okay Pulliston is not mentioned oh I found Inns and Sigaw please watch that it is therefore essential for hotel management to develop HRM practices that enable them to inspire and retain competent employees. This requires an understanding of what motivates employees at different levels of management and different stages of their career. In Zanzibar 2000, this implies that it is beneficial for hotel managers to understand what practices are most favorable to increase employee satisfaction okay let's see now over here what does he say he says this implies that it is beneficial for hotel managers to understand what practices are most favorable to increase employee satisfaction and retention question number 27 is still unanswered question number 27 says hotel managers need to know what would encourage good staff to remain to remain and retention they are the same thing now let's read again hotel managers need to know what would encourage good staff hotel managers need to know then they say this implies that it is beneficial for hotel managers to understand hotel managers need to know and hotel managers to understand it is beneficial for them to understand then they say what would encourage good staff to remain and then they say what practices are most favorable 
what would encourage good staff to remain and what practices are most favorable to increase employee satisfaction and retention and for retention they are using staff to remain so that uh, ins and sigo is at number e so for question number 27 the answer is e ielts reading is not easy huh <laughs> it's very tricky it needs a lot of practice a lot of preparation a lot of reading uh, a lot of uh, tests you have to solve and then you will be able to do that if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel now i deserve your subscription and comment this video do let me know what type of videos you guys want me to make for you and definitely i'll come up with those videos i also teach ielts online if you want to join my online ielts classes my whatsapp number is given you can contact me for that i run another channel asad yaku vlogs you can subscribe to that channel as well and i have a facebook page asad yaqub ielts you must like my facebook page as well asad yaqub wishes you all the best with your ielts preparation especially with your preparation with reading take good care of yourselves allah hafiz